Welcome to the breathtaking island paradise of Bali, where the sun, surf, and spirituality come together to create a magical experience like no other. But as much as there is to do and see on this idyllic island, there are also some things you definitely shouldn't do. That's right, in this video, we're going to take you on a journey through the don'ts of Bali. From cultural taboos to practical tips to keep you safe and comfortable, we're going to give you the inside scoop on what not to do when you're on this beautiful island. So if you're planning a trip to Bali, or if you're just curious to learn more about this fascinating destination, be sure to watch this video from start to finish. You won't want to miss a single tip or piece of advice that can make your Bali adventure even more unforgettable. Don't disrespect Balinese culture. Bali is predominantly a Hindu island, and the Balinese people take their religion and traditions very seriously. Visitors should show respect by dressing appropriately when visiting temples or other sacred places. For example, women should cover their shoulders and wear long skirts or sarongs. In addition, visitors should be mindful of their behavior, avoid making loud noises, and refrain from touching any sacred objects. Don't haggle aggressively. Haggling is a common practice in Bali, especially in markets and souvenir shops. However, it's important to do it respectfully and not haggle too aggressively. For example, instead of aggressively bargaining for a lower price, try negotiating with a smile and a friendly attitude. Remember that the locals rely on tourism for their livelihoods and that haggling too much may offend them. Don't buy drugs. Drug laws in Bali are extremely strict and the consequences for being caught with drugs can be severe, including the death penalty. Visitors should avoid buying or using drugs of any kind while in Bali, even if it may seem like a fun thing to do. Don't drink the tap water. The tap water in Bali is not safe to drink, and visitors should avoid it at all costs. Instead, drink bottled water or bring a reusable water bottle with a filter to ensure that you stay hydrated without getting sick. Don't litter. Bali is known for its beautiful beaches, rice paddies, and landscape, and it's important to keep it that way. Visitors should avoid littering and dispose of their waste properly. For example, Instead of throwing trash on the beach, use the trash cans provided, or carry it with you until you can dispose of it properly. Don't forget to bargain. Bargaining is a common practice in Bali, and visitors should not be afraid to negotiate prices, especially in markets and souvenir shops. However, it's important to do it in a friendly and respectful manner. For example, instead of insisting on a lower price, try negotiating with a smile and a friendly attitude. Don't forget to tip. Tipping is not a common practice in Bali, but it's appreciated by the locals, especially those in the hospitality industry. If you receive good service, it's customary to leave a small tip, such as 10% of the total bill. Don't ride a motorbike without a license. Riding a motorbike in Bali can be dangerous, especially if you're not used to the traffic and road conditions. Visitors should have a valid motorbike license before renting a bike. It's also important to wear a helmet and drive defensively to avoid accidents. Don't forget to wear sunscreen. Bali is a tropical island with strong sun rays, and visitors should wear sunscreen to protect their skin from sunburn and skin damage. For example, use a broad-spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of at least 30 and apply it every two hours or after swimming or sweating. Don't get scammed. Scammers can be found in tourist areas, and visitors should be aware of their tactics. 
For example, some scammers may offer fake doors, overcharge for services, or ask for money in exchange for a photo with a monkey. Visitors should avoid buying from street vendors or people who approach them on the street and do their research before booking any tours or activities. Don't forget to dress appropriately. Bali is a conservative place, and visitors should dress appropriately, especially when visiting temples or other sacred places. For example, men should wear a shirt with sleeves, and women should cover their shoulders and wear long skirts or sarongs. Don't disrespect the local wildlife. Bali is home to a variety of wildlife, including monkeys, birds, and sea turtles. Visitors should show respect for the animals and their habitats by not disturbing them or feeding them. For example, it may be tempting to feed the monkeys, but this can lead to aggressive behavior and may harm their health. Visitors should also avoid purchasing any products made from endangered species, such as sea turtle shells or ivory. Don't forget to learn a few phrases in the local language. Learning a few phrases in the local language can go a long way in showing respect for the local culture and building connections with the Balinese people. For example, learning how to say hello or thank you in Bahasa Indonesia can make a positive impression and show that you are making an effort to connect with the locals. Don't disrespect the environment. Bali's environment is fragile and visitors should take care not to damage it. For example, avoid stepping on coral reefs when snorkeling, and don't use single-use plastics that can end up in the ocean. Visitors can also participate in beach cleanups or ecotourism activities to help preserve the environment. Don't forget to have fun and relax. While it's important to show respect for a Balinese culture and the environment, Visitors should also remember to have fun and relax. Bali offers many activities, such as surfing, yoga, and spa treatments that can help visitors unwind and enjoy their stay on the island. In conclusion, Bali is a beautiful and vibrant place to visit, but it's important for foreign tourists to be mindful of their behavior and show respect for Balinese culture, the environment, and the locals. By avoiding certain behaviors, such as disrespecting the culture or environment, aggressively haggling, or breaking the law, visitors can have a safe and enjoyable experience on the island. At the same time, visitors should not forget to have fun, relax, and immerse themselves in the unique culture and natural beauty that Bali has to offer.